Virgos, what's going on, my soul tribe, my family? We are a family. Da -na 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 -na. I got all my Virgos with me. Yeah, yeah. Let me stop. What's up, y'all? <laughs> Happy Sunday to my lovies. Let's start the week off strong, baby. Yes, this is the beginning of your week, Sunday, and I am here to shine some love and light on your path. All right. You know the vibes, okay? Spirit just said, you are not doing that right. Make a cross. Okay, my bad. <laughs> hey, Virgos. What y'all thought? I know y'all knew I was coming, right? You knew I was coming. You knew I was coming. I was busy as crap these last couple of days. I said, let me show up bright and early and kick the door down. Singing and swinging, okay? I got a song on my heart for you. <laughs> and I'm about to tell you. What spirit put on my heart to tell you? And he also told me to use. We haven't used our angel deck in a minute. Y'all remember I used to use these cards often. But we haven't used them in a while. So I was told to get these cards. Give you a spiritual message. And I have a song on my heart for you. And it's not our song. But go say my love. Hey, 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 my love. Sing it with me all. Hey, my love. Sing it with me one time. Sing. Sing, hey, my loves, hey, my loves. It's not that one, okay? I just wanted to do that for my A1 Day 1s, my lovies. Y'all love our song. Thank you so much, and it brightens your spirit. All right, I had to come and bring some sunshine and some energy. You know I'm coming with the vibes, right? If you ain't know, how you doing? I'm coming with the vibes every time, every time. Look, if my energy is low, y'all know I've been working, 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 and I'm getting tired, okay? I need to go relax, and I'm pushing myself. But most of the time, baby, I'm, I'm I'm showing up like this. I woke up like this. I wake up like this. So I'm going to tone it down a little bit for my lovies in the back that's like, I'm not having my best day. Well, if you're not, baby, let me extend my loving hands over to you and let you know. High five, boo. You got this. I love you. Sending you love, light, and positive energy. And we're going to get through this together. All right, so with that being said, welcome everybody. Thank you for your love and support, your likes, shares, and subscribes. I am Empress Meek. Hello, I am a Virgo as well. Um, and all who have Virgo placements are welcome to this video or whoever is touched by the spiritual messages. There's always something in each and every one of my videos for everyone, okay? So um, share these videos and let me know what you think in the comments, okay? Let's go ahead and get started. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides, thank you for giving me overall energy for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, and North Node. Thank you for all you do in the divine realm. Seen and unseen blessings you bestow upon us each and every day. Thank you for using me as a positive vessel of love and bright light for Virgos and all who are drawn to your divine messages in these videos. Thank you for my protection each and every day. Thank you for extending that protection onto everybody who is watching my videos. Thank you for blocking and bonding all negative energies, entities, incantations, witchcraft, wickedness, anything coming up against this channel, your divine will for our lives, um, or our finances, or our children, or our families. Thank you so much for keeping us beneath your loving um, realm of protection. We only rock with the light. So thank you so, so much. Um, for giving us victory in every situation we may face, abundance and overflow, healing in our heart, minds, body, soul, and spirit. Amen. And touch somebody who is unfortunate. Amen. And amen. All right, y'all. So we're about to get this angel message. And let me tell y'all the song that's on my heart. <clears throat> this is the song that God gave me this morning for you guys. You still love me, in spite of me, and you still chose me, how can it be? Yeah, y'all know this? Every scar, every flaw, you've seen it all, you've seen it all, and you still love me, love me, ooh, in spite of me. Y'all know that song. You still love me. Y'all need to listen to that. God told me to let you guys know to listen to that. It's going to touch your heart. It's going to raise your frequency. It's going to raise your vibration. You still love me. Love me. Ooh, in spite of me. So you guys listen to that, okay? 
All right, let's see what your angels want to tell you and what your focus should be. Um, we're going to start off with the spiritual portion of your message, y'all. And then we're going to go ahead and get some oracle cards so I can talk to you about some of the surrounding energies. Um, we're going to try to keep it cute today, okay? We're not going to start a pot much. Um, I'm going to do that a little bit later. But this is just the first message, okay? So let's dive in and see where you're at in your spiritual aspect of your life. All right, this is a collective read. If you need a more personal reading that vibes with you and your situation better, then you book me at closer the number two mydestiny.com. Okay. All right. If you have any questions, book um you can email me at closer the number two mydestiny the number one at gmail.com. Okay. All right, y'all. Let's get into it. First things first, remember who you are. This is what your angels want you to know. And this is what they expect for you to apply to your life starting now when you get this message, okay? Remember who you are. Archangel Michael is saying you are powerful. It says loving, creative child of God. It says you are very loved. Remember that. You are loved. You are appreciated. Whether you hear it every day or not, know that you are loved, all right? And know that you are a very powerful child of God. Yes, a child of God. The most high lives within you. Use your power wisely. Use your discernment and use your intuition as you move through these situations and challenges. All right. That's your tool. Not only that, the word is your tool. Look, read the book of Psalms. If you guys are believers and if you want to raise your vibration, if you want to be more knowledgeable about the situations that happen in life, I'm telling you, the book of life is a good start. Like it tells its stories, but it puts things into perspective a little bit more for you and helps you see things a little bit differently, all right? And I'm not trying to be controversial because I don't have time for that. I'm going to believe what I believe. You believe what you believe. One God, one way, baby. We're going to get there together one point or another, okay? It, <laughs> I'm not that tight. Look, but the Most High definitely um, gave us a guide, okay? And some of the things that could be argued about what happened or whatever the case may be, but for a fact, it's some of those things in there that have helped you understand you as a person and some of the situations that you experience in life. And it also gives you a few tools to know how to handle them differently. These are the things that we're not taught in school, okay? So it's important for you to knock and the door shall be open. Seek and you shall find, all right? All right, I ain't taking you to church today, baby. It's a, I got a spiritual message on there yesterday for you, okay? It seemed like we was going to church. But... Today, I'm just letting you know what your angels want you to look at. And they want to remind you of who you are. You're a powerful child of God. And it says that you are a very loving person. All right. And you are very loved. All right. So outdoors, um, this is telling you to go outside, get some fresh air, connect with nature to relieve some stress and gain new creative ideas. So if you can go for a ride today. Go outside today. If it's nice where you are, take a walk in the park. Take a walk out in nature and just enjoy the air. Enjoy um, the blessings. It's a blessing to go outside and breathe fresh air. It's a blessing to be able to move and go as you please. Some people can't. So just, just enjoy yourself today and see what messages the universe has for you. Go outside. All right? Hug a tree. Walk through the grass. Um, take your shoes off, take your socks off and let your feet fill the grass. Make sure you're in a decent place where you can't, you're not walking on no crap or nothing like that. But you know what I'm saying? Connect with nature. All right. So we got indigo children. Yes, you are an indigo child. This is, this is saying you have a bond with children. In particular, you can help children who are sensitive, meaning, you have a strong connection with um, young children who are also empaths. They're sensitive to energy. They're sensitive to people. And they're drawn to you naturally. You ever been in the store and y'all see babies just stare at you? They see your light. There's a connection there. You soothe them. Your energy makes them feel comfortable and understood. It's something that they don't see maybe in their mother or other people that are around them. Not everybody has that energy. But you do, all right? If this touches your heart when I say that you have a connection with children, it's you, all right? We got to learn how to trust our intuition just like that. Because a lot of times it helps us avoid all kinds of disasters, honey. All kinds of disasters, okay? Creative writing. I always instruct you guys, not even instruct. I encourage you, all right? Because you're your own boss. You do what you feel is right for you. But I always encourage you to write things down, to journal. Um, and this is encouraging you to do creative writing. Make time to write down your thoughts in a journal, a pen or, um, or pen an article or book, all right? 
So even if you read something that resonates with your soul, highlight it. All right. Um, or write down your thoughts, your feelings and emotions. This will help you. All right. Underneath the bottom of the deck, baby, teaching and learning, keep an open mind and learn new ideas. It says then such these it says then teach these ideas to others. All right, because you are a teacher and you're a messenger of the most high. A lot of you guys are naturally drawn into um, to information and knowledge that not only helps you grow and elevate, but it's something that you can share. A lot of you are naturally drawn to that because that's your job here in this world. Um, a lot of you want to know your purpose and your purpose is to serve, to teach and relay the messages that spirit gives to you. That's why your intuition is so grand. That's why your energy is so big because you can walk in a room and change the tone. You can speak to somebody and say a couple of sentences and make them feel it in their heart. You plant seeds of healing, growth and knowledge, wisdom. All right, you do. All right, so that's what your angels want you to be mindful of, okay? So that was nice. That was very refreshing. Sweetie, you're going to lose a paw if you step on my table. Meow. Yes, you will. I will come fool you. Uh-huh. Good girl. Get down. Meow. You're not invisible just because I'm doing a reading. You better be good. Go sit down like a good kitty. You hear this? Y'all hear it? I ain't playing with her. All right, y'all. <laughs> she said, lose a paw. <laughs> She's about to step on my table. All right, y'all. Holy Spirit, holy angels. And I love y'all, but don't let y'all cats get on y'all table that y'all eat on. That Y'all know better than me. Now, I don't know if that's just the country girl in me, but that cat off that table. <laughs> holy Spirit, holy angels, ancestors, and God. Show Virgo. Say my lovies. What would you like for me to talk to them about today? What, what situations can we tackle today? What are we talking about today? I have no clue. All right. The download was just that song and get the angel messages. So I think that that's a start. All right. Let's see. How you doing? How y'all doing today? I heard somebody say, I love her. I love you, Empress. I love you too, baby. I do. I love you. I do. One day we will have karaoke, y'all, because I can tear up some Dream Girl soundtrack. Oh, I love it. All right. Let's see. Is this where we stopping? Yes. All right. Underneath the bottom of the deck, my loves, it says, set your life on fire and seek those who fan your flames. Yes. Who, who moves your heart, baby? Who does it for you? Who raises your frequency and make you want to do more, feel more, be more? Those are the people that spirit are, spirit is encouraging you to connect with. Kindred spirits is what it's called. Um, passion, follow your heart. All right. So it's going to be people that come into your energy that you feel so connected to. And these are the people that you should try to hold on to, but not if the feeling is not mutual. And if you feel any resistance or anything like that, don't act. Okay. But when you feel it and you, somebody's talking to you or they pour into you, or they just such a vibe and they feed off your positive energy, you feed off theirs. Oh yeah, baby. It's a vibe. Okay. They're the ones that safe. Okay. Yes. Now, you got to use your discernment because some people hang around us a lot and they study us. All right. This is what people do. They study the divine people, the real true divines. We get studied all the time. You'll find people staring at you in the store and everything, you know, because they want to, they're figuring you out. First of all, they see your energy It's attractive and it's strong and it's magnetic. So they want to know what that pull is. Immediately they look, they stir, they see, they're trying to see what it is about you. You know, and a lot of people that aren't divine and they real shady and shysty, it's like in the office, you can see somebody that you know is toxic, but they study you, they staring at you and you're like, you're nothing like me. Like, what are you looking at? Like, why are you, why did that person keep staring at every single thing I do, how I move, how I talk? What are they looking at? They want to, they're mimicking, they're, they're, they're recording in their mind they're making mental notes and then they go and do that. And this is how they pull in good people because people think that they're them. They know like attracts like. Um, and they need to learn how to be more positive. They need to learn how to be more grounded. They need to learn how to put on the persona of divine, balanced, patient, kind. So they watch, they study, and then they go out into the world and mimic, right? So it's important for you to catch on to that, all right? You're divine. You're gifted naturally. You should catch on to that. Don't ignore those nudges that you get when your intuition and your spirit is telling you, uh-uh, uh-uh. Uh -uh. something ain't right about that all right because nine times out of ten baby something ain't right about that okay so use your discernment all right 
So next, it says your heart is an ocean. Ooh, find yourself in its hidden depths. Life journey, finding your purpose, true love. And what is it saying? True love starts within. Find yourself in its hidden depths. This heart that you have and this love that you have, as much as you love people and love to give and pour into others, baby, you need to pour into you. Find yourself in that. Love yourself in the midst of doing all that for everybody else and showing how loving you can be. Are you showing that to yourself? Right? So this is the question. All right? We always asking ourselves questions so we can get to the answer. Sometimes we write that down. You can write down the answers and this will open your eyes to a lot of things that you need to see about you that will help you heal. Okay? Yeah. Speaking to that in a child, baby. Let's go. All right, because we, we elevating over here. We growing. We doing big things. We big steppers. We need we need the, the, the whole food. We don't want that sauce and juice. Like, no. Give me some meat. Give me some solids. You know what I'm saying? I don't eat meat right now, but give me some scrimps. S-K-R-I-M-P-Z. <laughs> give me some scrimps. And give me some salmon, you know? Like, as she pop her tongue. Give me some salmon. <laughs> Y'all said the be more is coming out. That's is that Marilyn I hear. But nah, you you guys know what I mean though. But yeah, we want the 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 meat. All right, spit the bones out, take the meat, and you grow from that. You nourish yourself with the wisdom, with the messages, with the seeds that's planted. That's how you water your seeds, so you can grow and elevate. That's what this channel is about. So be patient. It says where you sit in the dark. The dawn is coming. This too shall pass. Your future is bright. You got to embrace that. And instead of you saying, I'm not going to make it or I don't feel like I can do it. I don't ever speak like that over my life. That for me, that's saying that you're, I'm not in the driver's seat. When I say, if I ever say that out of my mouth, that's how I know for a fact that something that took over my mind. Baby, and when that thing take over your mind, it take over your life, your finances, your love life, and everything. You won't have nothing talking and thinking like that. So if I ever feel that way, that's how I know I'm not in the driver's seat in my mind. That's that means I'm letting I'm letting doubt, fear, and negativity creep in and take charge of my thoughts. That's a problem. Because where God dwells, negativity can't reside. Like all those sp those spirits of hatred and confusion, they can't live there. So it's like you need to re revamp, refresh your mind, refresh your life. Because who are you communing with to make you feel like that's valid? You see what I'm saying? What what thoughts are you entertaining and inviting in and letting take residency in your mind that make you feel like that's okay to say? Because when you think about it, when you finally, you know this, when words finally come out of your mouth and you finally speak something over your life, it's been living in your mind for a minute. Like it's been forming in your mind. Your brain forms the, the words. You know what I'm saying? First your heart, then your mind, then your words and your actions follow. So this helps you see what you need to change because I don't, I don't like reading and I'm, and I'm not saying don't be yourself and don't express yourself because you're putting it there because you want love and encouragement. I get it. But in the comments, sometimes I see people say, I'm just at my worst or I'm not going to make it or I, I can't do it. We're not speaking like that. And you're not going to find a pity party in the comment section. You can say I'm having trouble, but when you talk about, I just can't. You know, you're, don't do that. Don't, don't, it's like, because it's one thing to think that, but it's even worse when you speak it and write it. You understand how much power you have and what you write down and what you speak out of your mouth. Like you got to understand your power. And if you don't feel powerful, that's okay. But a lot of things that we feel, it don't mean that it's true. It means that we chose to entertain those thoughts and now we're feeding it. Right? Think about what I'm saying. Be patient where you are. Being patient means trust in divine timing. Trust that things will work out. When you're patient, you're waiting for something, right? Whether it's a better outcome, somebody to arrive, you're waiting for some type of resolution to whatever that thing is that has you in this pause state, right? Sometimes you just got to break things down and figure out exactly what are you saying? Because when you're saying, I can't make it, that's saying that not only do you not believe in yourself and your ability to come up with bright ideas and better ways and strategies, this is also saying that 
you refuse to take action because you know that you can make a choice to take an action that can change things or make things happen that start turning other ball rolling other balls and changing situations around even if that thing right there is not moving at the time you can start doing things around that thing where you know that eventually it will all connect and eventually it will help you get out of this situation whatever it is right so you think about that look at my moon ring it's blue i mean i'm ready okay let's go it's usually blue or purple it was purple before i started look i'm in it but that's what i'm saying though so think about what you're saying when you say these words, when you speak these things over your life, when you, when you, and then when you're sharing it with somebody else, you might trigger somebody else that's hurt and feeling low. Then you got a, then you got another person on there saying, yeah, I can't make it either. Why would you want to do that? You know, don't do that, right? It's a way that you go about doing and saying everything. So just think about it. Think about it. You can get past it. This is what it's saying. This too shall pass. Your future is bright. But if you don't believe it, then that means you're never going to take action to go to it. That's that Ace of Wands energy. You have to make a move. And if you don't, then it's not going to ignite. It's not going to happen. Right? So that means you got to take action to do it. And this is what this is telling you. Whatever it is, be patient, but still keep going. Keep moving. Do something else. Do something around this thing. Right? Right? the wound so let's, let's let me give you another example <clears throat> so right here say that you don't have money to pay your rent so you don't have money to pay you for your rent and your pause right here this is going to require patience why do you need to be patient because you need time to come up with different ideas to how how you can make money to pay your rent how can you, and not only how can you make money to pay your rent how can you make money to pay your rent and not get yourself into any more trouble debt karma or anything like that what can you do? So you go over here and start something else. You start looking for a job, looking to see who might need some help. You might start looking for temp jobs, things like that, something temporary so you can make some quick money, babysitting jobs, anything like that, little things. And not only are you doing that, but over here, you're applying for a more stable jobs, something that'll bring you more money, which you really truly deserve. Even though at that second, it's not paying your rent. These things are eventually going to work together to get you what you need to get rid of this problem. This is what it's telling you. So be patient. Why would you say you can't do something when you still have your right mind and your right spirit, the right energy to say that? If you can say that, then you're in the right mind frame to think of new ideas and strategies to get around this problem. That's all it's saying. So be patient, not only with your situation, but be patient with your freaking self. Give yourself a chance to show you that, no, we can do this. Give your mind a chance to step up and say, no, stop saying that. Listen to your inner child because your inner child tells you when you say, I can't, you get this feeling. And that's because whatever the negative thing that is hindering you, making you feel like that is pulling your energy. And every time you speak negative over your life, you feel this. But we've become accustomed so much to ignoring the feelings that we get and not really paying attention to the things that we feel that we avoid it. We just act like it's not happening. Just like when you hear your seatbelt um, thing beeping and you don't put it on. Like, when did we get to the point where we're ignoring warning signs? We're ignoring, like, indicators telling us that it's a possibility that this could end up in a wreck or a failure or terrible but you're ignoring it. Think about that. Write some things down when I say that. And write down what you're thinking about when you hear that. Because it's going to help you heal. That's what these messages are for. Right? All right, moving on, y'all. So the wound. It says the wound is the place where the light enters. Oof. Oh my God. Y'all turning me into the little old church mother. I'm like, Lord, have mercy. Okay. <laughs> my God today. Go ahead and speak, Lord. Yes, the wound is where the is the place where the light enters. Healing, blessings, the strength to carry on. You get it? If you don't go through anything, then you're never going to experience the power of overcoming healing you're never going to explore explore your healing power your ability to do new things and create things and push yourself you're never going to know how powerful you really are so it's necessary to go through the growing pains of life in order for you to be polished for you to be built up for you to start getting that whole armor of god like you're starting 
piece by piece you putting it on learning from your experiences learning what you need oh so now i know i gotta protect my heart breastplate of righteousness oh so now i've been through this and somebody manipulated me now i know i gotta pr protect my mind helmet of salvation I got to keep my mind cleansed. I got to keep my mind pure. You you told a bunch of lies. You got caught up in your lie. It got you in trouble. Oh, now I know what I need. I need the sword of truth. Because I can use my sword of truth to break through situations. And I don't got to lie. Because I can use this truth to cut through whatever I need to cut through. See, you learn. You know what I'm saying? All right. I said I wasn't going to take you out of church today. But it's this, this is really touching my heart to tell you this. And I feel like that's why Spirit had me start with those cards and start with these. Because we don't really use these often. But this is a spiritual message. So that's why I, I guess that's why I was geared to tap in because of the message. And y'all need this. It's a lot of people that need this today. Tell, tap, tap your purple heart in the comments and say, I do. If you needed this today, I do. Say I do in the comments just to let me know if you needed this message today. Because I love to see reassurance that what I'm doing is helping you heal and grow. And I need you to share these. Make sure you guys are sharing. You're doing really great. Like the video so it can get out to other people. You guys are doing great watching the videos all the way to the end. Y'all even come back to watch it. I know. I see you. I know it. I know. And you're sharing these videos because it's important. Somebody need this today. Somebody need this today. And I don't know if I'd be talking people off the ledge, talking people back into the workforce. I, whatever I'm doing, I know the seeds that I'm planting are fervent, just like my prayers. And I know that they're going to heal. They're going to help. That's why I show up. Y'all know I got skills, baby. I don't got to be here, baby. But I'm here with you because it's rewarding. And I'm so grateful, right? I'm so grateful. Yeah, I could be in the field. Y'all know I'm a medical office manager. Let's do this. Look, anywhere I go, I'm going to get a bag. Okay? <laughs> like, I'm going to get a big bag. Okay? <laughs> Somebody said, wherever I go, I'm going to get a big bag. Okay? Cha-ching. Somebody write cha-ching in the comments. And wherever you go, you get a big bag. Baby, we the king and queen of coins. Oh, that's that, that's, how, that's how I think. Come on. I got so many money-making ideas and strategies. Look, I'm about to get into investing. Yeah, look into investing. They like to tell us it's not for us, but baby, it's for you if you got time to learn about it. You, you know you can make a dollar holla. Y'all know that, okay? So, hmm, things that make you go, hmm, okay. Anyway, maybe you search the branches for what is only in the roots. Mm -mm -mm. So how many times did you pass up something without really looking to make sure it's not for you? How many times did you take a no and just walk away when you didn't go deeper to find out why? Or it's got to be another something else here, but you're like, just forget the whole thing. Go deeper. Look elsewhere. You need more. For some of y'all, you taking what you see on face value and riding with that when you know that if you dig a little bit deeper into that situation or person, you don't want that. You do not want that, okay? So Spirit is saying, don't accept less. Don't just accept face value when you know that you need something of some substance, something more, something that's really going to have you invested, whatever it is, okay? This could be anything. But that's what you're being told right now. All right, so this is the spirit. This so this was your um this was the oracle part of your reading. All right, this is just telling you some of the energies that's around you and what you need to work on, what you could work on. All right, let's let's see what else. Now we're gonna go to the overall energy. What's surrounding you? What situations? What you dealing with on today to bring these cards out? Let's find out what the energy is that's surrounding you, and then we're gonna go into the tarot and clarify whatever it is. Um. Let's see. Let's see what situations are surrounding you at this time. What is happening with my Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node? What are the situations? What situations are surrounding my Virgos at this time? From Spirit to the Angels. What are Virgos experiencing at this time? happening for Virgo what's the overall energy for Virgo we're surrounding Virgo at this time rest and rejuvenate so you're healing somebody's healing from something 
Four of Swords energy, the thinking man. Somebody could be contemplating. They could be thinking about you or you're thinking about somebody. Somebody, I feel like you guys are resting and you're really thinking about your situation and the things that you have going on in your life. I just saw um, somebody could even be healing from some situation that they had to walk away from. Blossoming abundance. Okay. So we got rest and rejuvenation, blossoming abundance, and the thinking man. And hostilities. Okay, so with the hostilities card, somebody is upset about something. We got the queen of coins at the bottom of the deck. Wow, so <clears throat> let's find out why these cards are here. Here's the thinking woman. So somebody could be doing something in the angel of strength. All right, so let's stop right there because we're going to get the tarot and clarify this. Real quick before we go on, let's get some cards telling us what these people are thinking. So we got the thinking man and the thinking woman. I see my queen of coins here. So this is a situation dealing with two people like maybe you are. Somebody here knows that they need to heal. They know that they're growing. They know that they're working on themselves. I feel like right now in your life, at this point in your life where you are, you are your main priority. Um, and sometimes you do give to others and you focus on the people that are around you. But I feel like at this present moment, you've been focusing on yourself a whole lot more. And I feel like it's some people don't get it because they're taking it personal. They're taking your your focus on yourself personal, like you're going against them. But really, you just want the best for yourself and you're no longer taking shorts. Like you don't want to take things at face value anymore. Like this, you don't want to be searching for, for things that are on the branches when you know you need what's in the root. Like if you're just taking whatever you see, the leaves, then you're never going to get what's really meant for you because you're never going to go deeper. And it's just a distraction. So a lot of you guys are seeing some of these shallow people or the people that you've been dealing with when you didn't really get who you are or what you needed. Once you started realizing what you needed to really make you happy and you weren't afraid to ask for that or look for that, these people started getting hostile with you like, like you think you're better or something like that. They're getting angry because not only do you have blossoming abundance, but you're really strong. You're really focused on yourself and they see that you're blessed. You're divinely blessed and protected. You see that, that lion? They say, you come near my angel if you want to, you have a problem. All right, and they can get as mad as they want, but you're protected. They know this, whoever these people are, whoever, whatever your situation is, all right? But they're taking it personal because now you're your main focus. It's no more tapping into you whenever they need it or whatever they want your energy. No, now you're protecting yourself. Now you're healing. You're, you know, you're doing a lot of meditating and thinking and taking time out for yourself. Rest and rejuvenation. It's like you've healed from a lot of things that you used to be going through when you used to socialize with people and their energy. Like a lot of you guys don't deal with those toxic people anymore or the people that only want one thing or they don't really want anything serious. It was all fun when you were emotionally unavailable because at some point in time, Virgo, you were emotionally unavailable. So you didn't mind having fun in whatever because you just were trying to get your mind off of whatever you were going through. But now that you've healed, now that things are coming together for you, now that you're in a different energy, you don't want to deal with these same people. Like you have more abundance to protect. You have a better life now. You have a lot going for you that you need to protect. And this is what has your focus. You know, you feel the growth. You see the elevation in your life and you're really focused on that. And it's working for you. For a lot of you guys, you really have bossed up your life. You really cleaned up your life really well. For some of my men, you could be dealing with a queen of coins. Another Taurus Capricorn or Virgo, or this is my queen of coins, dealing with somebody who is all in their head, being hostile towards you, taking it personal, that you just don't want any low vibrational energy no more. They're really taking it personal, and it's okay. Let them. You're protected. And this is what they know. So they can feel how they want to feel and say what they want to say, but they know they better not cross that line. They better not ever cross that line. It's going to be a problem. So they're mad and they're saying whatever. They could be sending negative energy away, but they won't touch you and they're not going to face you because they know better. 
All right, so let them think what they want because the way while they're over here in hostilities, you're getting the abundance you need. All right, and for some of you guys, you're dealing with somebody who knew that they were dishonest the whole time and they lost out on a good thing, and that's what they get. Like God, don't be playing. Like that's what they get. You get an opportunity, you you mess over it, then that's on you. You f over it, that's on you. You know, it's not your fault, Virgo. So don't let them make you feel that way. You know. Let's see. The thinking man. What's on this person's mind? One more. And the thinking woman. What's on her mind? Let's get the tarot. So, for the thinking man, it's basically saying that this person is saying that we have too many differences. So, if you're a male or dealing with a male, this person could feel like there are too many differences between you two. Or you could feel like you and that person have too many differences. Take it how it resonates with you guys. But somebody is thinking about values, the fact that you have too many differences. Somebody is saying that they really don't want to run anymore. They've been running. They've been trying to ignore this. They've been trying not to focus on this. But it's really weighing heavy on their mind. And they're taking it very personally that you are distancing yourself from them. For my ladies dealing with this man. And for my man, you've been running. I feel like y'all have been running from your real feelings and wanting to talk to this person about how you feel like you feel like there's too many differences you want to disconnect from the situation somebody feels like somebody else is too hostile you know this person is aggressive they might hide it a lot and you don't care if they making money or how much money they have all right because we got the money on the table and i feel like you are already abundant some of y'all are dealing with somebody that has money and they expect for you to lower your standards or lower your guard because you know that they have money or they can make money like you don't care you got your own money you have your own um you have your own ability to make money but somebody wants to have a conversation i want to call and hear your voice and whoever is dealing with this male that's who that's how they feel um and some of my males you want to talk to this person personally and not just text and send messages you really want to tell this person how you feel because i feel like for somebody somebody just wants to distance themselves heal and focus on their life and let this whatever this is go like things get out of hand with this hostility card like for somebody that lost their mind because i know they ain't coming to my virgo like this like somebody lost it okay and i, I just i just pray they find it that's all because that yeah that's something different now that that requires you to take the halo and put it to the side because if they step that bound over that boundary it's going to be a problem and uh, we come in peace we don't start it but we'll finish it okay can i get an amen don't 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 play with it don't play with it all right and i and i know that i know that's right okay <laughs> so let's hope that they stay on that side all right with all that okay with all that hostility because you're doing you you're focused you're driven and you're no longer distracted and you're no longer discouraged a lot of you are no longer discouraged about your situation you're embracing everything and this is helping you elevate. And that's the goal. That's the key. That's the answer. All right. Let's get the tarot, y'all, and dig in. Okay. Let's see what's, what's here. <clears throat> um, Not these. Let me get the other deck, y'all. Let's get the other tarot deck. <clears throat> I keep forgetting to draw some clothes on my, on my people. Because I got us a new um, tarot deck, but I got to draw clothes on it. I really like those cards. All right, y'all. Let's see. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and God, show me clear messages, please. Let's clarify this for my Virgos. Clarity in this situation and advice. What is the advice for Virgo and what do they need to know? Get off my table. Come here so you can get crippled. She said no. <laughs> Y'all know I would never hurt my cat, but I do. I can threaten her as much as I want because sometimes it works. She got down. You know how mothers do. I'ma beat her tail. No, we ain't about to beat nothing. But it worked. They start running, getting scared. 
All right, so <laughs> rest and rejuvenation. High priestess energy. All right, spirit wants you. And I feel like some of you guys, it's a 10 on the top of this card. And it's the wheel of fortune. I really feel like the wheel of fortune energy is here for you because you're using your intuition now. A lot of you guys are resting. You're meditating. You're cleansing your energy. Energy. This is suggesting that you recharge your energy. For a lot of you, that's what you've been doing. And it's not like you're being antisocial or you don't want to really deal with nobody, but you're being a little bit antisocial and you don't really want to deal with nobody. Like, <laughs> I mean, you're 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 charging up. Some, like some of you are being a social introvert right now. It's like I'll socialize when I need to and when I have to. But really, I'm, I'm, I'm into me. I'm healing. I'm growing. I'm learning. I'm investing. Finally putting the energy into myself. And that's perfect. That's good. That's what you're supposed to be doing. This thinking man. <clears throat> Move the messages to the side, y'all. Spirit wants you to use your intuition. You're very spiritually powerful okay the high priestess energy you're very knowledgeable you're connected and and it's and it's necessary for you to take the the time you need for yourself okay show me the thinking man what does virgo need to know about this thinking man energy sweetie i'm gonna get you i'm gonna get you somebody wants to rush in and start talking to you and tell you something or you want to rush in and talk to somebody or somebody's coming somebody's coming towards you like this thinking man, it could be you, Virgo, or it's somebody that one of my Virgos could be dealing with, but somebody is rushing towards you with some type of information. This person has some things on their mind that they want to get off their chest. This person is looking at something. It's like they're cherishing something. Somebody cherishes you. They look at you as, <clears throat> I feel like somebody sees somebody as something valuable because this is crystal that he has in his hand. I feel like somebody looks at, looks at you as something very valuable to them. Something that they want. And they want to rush in. This person is kind of reckless though. A little bit, um, a little bit bra brash, brash. How do you say it? <coughs> Making abrupt decisions without thinking. It's just like they, they just do it. But this is somebody who has a thought. And they're acting on it. They're going to act on it. Somebody wants to talk to you. They're not done yet. All right. And this could be you, like I said, for my males. And it's like, no, I need to tell this person how I feel because I'm sick and tired of this. Like somebody is getting you out of character or they think that they can get you out of character or somebody is just mad. They're mad because things are going great for you. Right. And you're not giving them the energy that they require. Somebody expected you to give them more energy than they deserve or to care about their feelings or something like that. And the way that they handled it is poorly. So you don't. It just runs you away. Show me Knight of Swords. <clears throat> yeah. Four of Wands energy. This could be somebody in your community. This could be somebody that you had a relationship with. For some of you, somebody really messed up bad. And, and it has something to do with their attitude and the words that they use. And they're hostile. It's like they're hostile and you just don't like it. Show me Blossom in Abundance for Virgo. Yeah, you're balancing things out. With the Two of Pentacles, some of you guys really took good care of this person with this Blossoming Abundance. They know that it's abundant where you are. They know that you are good at managing things. Not only do you manage your money, you manage your life. You, you, you're great with juggling, all right? Doing the juggling act. But somebody was juggling you for some of you. And now, because you chose yourself and you choose to focus on the things that you're focused on, because we didn't get to the ladies, the um, the um, the thinking woman. The thinking woman is saying, I have to take care of my financial and emotional needs. Four of swords and blossom in abundance and balancing. You're you're worried about yourself, all right, and habits. I don't know if we'll ever change, right? Somebody is feeling like this energy between us probably will never change. And I feel like this woman is doing her or choosing to do what she wants to do because she feels like something between you and, and you and her won't ever change. Or you, Virgo, feel like whatever's going on between you and this person will never change. Things didn't go the way you planned. For the, for the female energy, things didn't go the way they planned. So somebody decided to choose them and do their own thing and do what they do. 
Show me hostilities. Somebody's very upset. <clears throat> yeah. Four of cups. Somebody was too distracted when they had an offer and now they're sad about it. <clears throat> this is somebody wanting you to reevaluate things or look over something. Think twice about it. One more on the hostilities. Yeah, somebody's apologizing. Somebody wants to apologize. They really want this opportunity with you. Somebody, and I feel like somebody's coming to you in this Knight of Cups energy, this flighty in and out energy, wanting to talk to you. But really, this person is hostile, aggressive, angry. It's like they try to hide it. And I feel like because they were hostile, this caused this Four of Cups energy to come out. And now they're regretting it. So here is the Ace of Swords and the Knight of Cups. Somebody wants to talk about it, male or female energy. But honestly, Virgo, this is your energy. Eight of Cups, you're walking away, counting your losses. You're like, no. Like, because I feel like this person, they it's like you've seen too many signs or too much of that type of energy. So this is why Spirit is suggesting that you, you no longer lower your standards and you stay strong and you focus on yourself and you go after the things that really make you happy, the things that you need. Um, and a lot of you, that's what your cards are telling you. Value yourself. Focus on your growth. Write down things like do things that make you happy and make you nourished and and wiser. Show me the woman holding the coin. For a lot of you guys, this, my queen of pentacles is really resonating with this. Because you chose to go on a new beginning. You chose to release these burdens, release this baggage and start fresh. And some of you guys, if this is my king of coins in this energy, you're just not really taking action. You're chilling. You're chilling. You're getting your money. You're staying to yourself. You're minding your business. But your heart is still open. You're still willing to give somebody your coin that deserves it. You're starting fresh. And you believe in positive outcomes that's in store for you. Like you know you can do better and have more. Angel of strength. Queen of Swords energy with the angel of strength. Being strong, standing your ground. Not afraid to use this sword to cut somebody out of your life. But at the same time, you're logical. You're fair. You're balanced. You're willing to hear the truth. You said your. I feel like this Queen of Swords spoke their peace. And when this Knight of Cups came toward them, trying to talk to them, even though they're trying to hide this hostility, hiding behind the Knight of Cups, being charming, it did not work. It did not work. The Queen of Swords said, baby, no. No, 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 and no. It's not, it's not going to, no. Show me the thinking woman. Yeah, five of wands. This person is thinking about, so the thinking woman, the, the man is rushing in still in this energy of recklessness, like just rushing in, wanting to talk. And it could be somebody, like I said, in your community, at your home or wherever, somebody that you've been avoiding and they wanted to talk to you. But look, all you can think about is how it's a struggle. Like, you don't want to argue with this person. It's like tug of war. It's like, I told you no. They said, I said yes. I told you no. I said yes. Like, no. Somebody doesn't want to deal with that. You're moving on the common waters away from conflict. You're rising above the hate. You're rising above the negativity. God got another plan for you, baby. You're, you're, you're like, I'm, I'm good. Right? I'm good. You're not overthinking something. Somebody doesn't want to be stuck in their mind anymore about this. Um, the chariot. You're focused. You're driven. You're thinking about the things that you deserve. Queen of Cups. Somebody is nurturing, loving, caring, and ready to give their cup of love to somebody. But you're making a decision based off sincere emotions. You're being fair about it. But you're definitely trying to protect your emotions. Somebody is definitely making an emotional decision. But you're logical because the Queen of Swords is here as well. So you're thinking about your, you're thinking with your heart and you're like, my heart doesn't need that. I already know that you're covering something up. Really, you're aggressive. You're reckless. You're doing these things. And this is just how you are. You can't change it. Yes, you can hide it. So they try to come off nice, but they're really aggressive and rude and disrespectful and reckless. Like they don't care. And so you know that you're hip to the game. So I see you moving forward in a positive light. You're doing your thing. You're moving and doing what is best for you. And that's what spirit wants for you. Yeah. This person still is thinking about you passionately though. They still are thinking about you. They're trying to figure out if they want to come towards you right now. It's just a thought. And I feel like they're hesitant. They're not taking action anymore because you already told them how you feel. Queen of Swords and you were very direct. This Queen of Swords is just you, an energy of you being direct with them. 
And letting and you also somebody also let them know with this the way this um lion is protecting this person. You also let them know that if you overstep your boundaries with this aggression and hostility, it's gonna be a problem. Somebody's not dealing with the 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 physical abuse and all that crap. You're like, oh no, we're not doing that. It's gonna be a real problem. So you you're you're feeling like it's best for you to distance yourself from this person and stay away from them. So I see you going your separate way, Virgo. I see you paying attention. I see you moving forward and getting away from this. Yeah. But this person feels left out in the cold by you. What else does Virgo need to know for their highest good spirit? Beware of confusion. Yeah. The moon energy. You have you illuminated things. It's like you see that this person is hot in secrets. Somebody could be dealing with the Pisces. But I feel like this is you choosing wisely because you know there's illusions here. And you know somebody could see you as a recognized victory or just want to recognize victory. And you're you're guarded. You have your firm boundaries in place. You're focused on yourself. And you're ready for this new beginning or whatever this is that you're starting. All right? You're focused. So I see this. Wow. So this is what's going on in your life for some of you. This is what you're moving past. And this is why all those encouraging cards came out. Encouraging you to seek what really fits you. Um, to to love on yourself and all of those other messages that came out. Now we see why they came out. All right, so basically Spirit is telling you to be strong, continue to use your intuition and choose very wisely. Be careful of illusions and you'll win. All right, you will win. You're going to come out on top. You're going to get the life and the relationship that you deserve and people are going to be cheering you on. But be careful of these illusions and these secrets because somebody is just not to be trusted, just like you feel. Your intuition is right. All right. I love you guys. Thank you guys for being here with me. I will see you later on on our next video. I hope you enjoyed this message. I love you, love you, love you. Book at closer the number two, mydestiny.com if you need to. And check out the website for all your other spiritual needs, jewelry, cards, whatever you might need. And if it's something on that you want from my website and you don't see it on there, let me know down in the comments and I'll get it for you. All right. I love you guys. Bye, Virgo.